Talk about your career overseas, man, and life. Because I know you was over in Ukraine last season and everything going on with the war, you, everything. Talk about how mentally stressful and, 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 and but rewarding it is, man. That's, that's one of the things. Um, Javante Green, who is my cousin now, you know, played for the Chicago Bulls. Bulls, right. He was explaining the difference, like... <laughs> You, like if you know his story, like mm -hmm. we started, and I don't know overseas. too much about him, but yeah. I heard about him. If you know his stories, how he started overseas and where he at now, so it was just like everything about it. I'm just like this, like shout out to Javante man, too. Like you cold, like you got what it takes here and here. Okay, you know, or you don't because you got to be absolutely crazy to go to manage some of the things you face and see overseas. You mm -hmm. know, like we sitting here discussing Ukraine. Like I'm on the phone saying prayers with my family. Like yo. I accepted the fact that I came over here. Like it's one of the things, you know, it's a risk, and it's some. It's like a one percent chance that you'll be facing an opportunity where it's just like, hey, they're gonna bomb this country. They're gonna bomb it, right? And it's mm -hmm. going to happen. And I'm getting this from inside sources, and I'm not talking about inside sources of CNN and, and the media. I don't mm -hmm. get into that. Right. I'm talking about United States government officials left this country, vanished the country because they're guaranteed hundred percent sure they're gonna bomb this country. And they keep talking to me about a game, a basketball game. Okay. I'm still here. So if I'm going to be gone, I'm going to do it playing basketball. Right. So I'm going to play up into the moment that I'm gone. And that's exactly what I did. Um, I try to work it out negotiation-wise. And it's like one of the mental games you got to play. Okay. They told me no. Them people stole... I don't even think I'm comfortable saying it on camera. But like I said, you, you don't have to. They stole a crazy amount of money for me because I just said, I don't want to die. That's literally what I told him. I said, I don't want to die. And they verbatim repeated back to me, uh, Putin is stupid, but he's not crazy. Mm. Right? Well, he's crazy and not stupid. And I'm like, huh, what do you mean by that? Oh, he's not going to bomb. Yes, I got emails, endless emails, text messages. Devon is safe here. They didn't even know how to spell my name. I'm the best player on this team. They spell my name D-U-V-O-N. So I'm processing all this, all this stuff. stuff. right. I'm like, you know what? I'm still giving 110%. My numbers stayed up. Okay. I stayed positive because it's like, man, so I'm going to translate out of this. And this is like the mental toughness. I got it out of there by the grace of God. I booked me a ticket. Man, I want to say I had a game at 7 o'clock, finished the game, got out at 9. My flight was at 1. So I had to travel to Kiev, the capital like two hours, two two and a half hours to get there. Wow. You know, and all this is on my, because I'm doing it behind their back, because I try everything, because I'm on a guaranteed contract, so this money is mine, regardless of what. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I come home, and I'm just like, I suffered with like PTSD behind that, because I couldn't sleep. They, they, they played with firecrackers a lot during that time, mm. and the firecrackers would hit me like, yo, I think one time we was playing Call of Duty, my brothers and the headphones on, and, uh, the firecrackers is going on crazy, and I couldn't hear it because my headphones, but my brothers and them heard it, and I couldn't see nothing. They said, yo, you hear that? And they're aware of the situation that's going on. So it's just like the PTSD behind that, just like, man, like, don't feel comfortable around certain things. Like, just looking up in the sky every night for, like, two weeks straight, was that was the negotiation stage of the period, was like, man, am I going to die out here? Nah. I prayed enough, everything good. Mm -hmm. So to make out there gracefully, come home, I didn't rest. I was like, I was getting it. I was uh, going through a moving situation between uh, my old crib and my new crib, but I was just working out first thing in the morning, taking my daughter to uh, the babysitter, mm -hmm. working out again, like just like doing too much to stay focused here. Cause like, man, something gonna happen, but won't nobody calling me cause they have they had my rights. Okay. So because the country didn't get bombed yet, I abandoned my team oh, to FIBA, man. right? Because the bombing didn't happen yet. When the bombing happened, it's like, okay, now we could go get Devon Maxwell because it's official. He was right for why he left. Man, I had so many death threats and bad things in my DMs from these people. Are you serious? Seriously, from these people. I would just show, I would just show it to my fiance at the time. Like, man, look at this. And I'll just laugh it off. I might probably respond to like two people, mm -hmm. you know, in an uncivilized manner and a civilized manner trying to get them to explain. But it's like, bro, you over here attacking me when the reality about to hit y'all, you know? Right. And everybody's like, pray for these people, pray for these people. Like, I wish the best for everybody. But the way they treated a lot of us during that time, mm -hmm. um, the boy from D.C. area. 
Yeah. He was the last one to leave. Right, right, because he struggled to get out of there. And I know his situation. They did not want to let us go. That was my own bread I threw up there to get out of there. My wow. own money. The team is responsible for my flight. Never got that money back. I never see it. They also took so much out of my contract. I never see it. But it's like, that's one of the things you deal with overseas. That's that mental toughness. Mm-hmm.